say Rev really quickly yeah. too Democrats need to be mature and they need to be honest and they need to say yes there is there's misogyny but it's not just misogyny from white men mm-hmm. it's misogyny from Hispanic men right it's misogyny from black men things we've all right. been talking about who do not want a woman leading them might be race issues with Hispanics they don't want a black woman as president of the United States, you know, the, 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 the Democratic Party, I've always found when you're sitting around talking, they love to just sort of balkanize everybody into these separate groups and say, oh, white people don't like women and uh, black people. No, this is, this is, it is time for the Democrats to say, OK, and you and I have talked about this before. A lot of Hispanic voters have problems with black candidates. Right. A, a lot and of, with other Hispanics. And, you got some and, exactly. that don't like each other. And, right. and some of the most misogynist things I've heard going on in this Get Out the Vote tour came from black men. I mean, misogynist things. So you're yeah. absolutely right. It's not simplistic. And we've right. got to have real honest conversations about it. Real so, honest conversations. And we ain't got no real coalition with nobody. Like I said, the whole black and Latino thing, that's a myth. And also, truth be told, uh, and y'all, y'all listen. When they start talking about black and Hispanic, just like when I was talking about on MSNBC, they were talking about well, the problem was black and Hispanic people, and the black and, and Hispanic men are misogynistic, and they just don't want to see a woman. the The reason why they were saying black and Hispanic. They were really targeting black folks. It, 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 they weren't talking about no damn Hispanic. They were really talking about us. When you throw the Hispanic in there, Hispanic is like a catch-all buffer. Hispanic is like a damn generic-ass term. It don't really mean anything, to be honest. Hispanic really don't mean anything. It's kind of an empty term. It's such a catch-all generalized term that means so many things that it don't mean nothing. Does, does, does that make sense? That's why Hispanic, the Hispanic community, they don't get offended by that. Yeah, they don't get offended by that. Because when they start talking about the Puerto Ricans up there in New York, most Hispanics didn't get offended by that. Hell, even Puerto Ricans didn't really get offended by that. Because there is no real cultural camaraderie with Hispanic groups other than Spanish language. The only con- the only commonality that they have is the European identity. I want y'all to understand this. The only cultural continuity that any Hispanic group have, be it Puerto Rican, Colombian, Mexican, Venezuelan, or whatever, the only um, camaraderie they have is Spanish language. So it's based on Spanish and European identity. That's why many of them identify as white. They look at themselves as just exotic Europeans. So the Hispanic term, that's like a political football. It's like a a political um, um, hammer that they can pull out whenever they need it, whenever they need to break a glass of some opportunities. Because generally, they classify themselves as white and they view themselves as white, and nobody in many cases would even know they're Hispanic unless they told you. So they don't face comparative discrimination. They don't. But they have to latch on that identity with us because we are the ones who face, we face real discrimination. We face real setbacks and we have a real, true, definitive identity, especially as foundational Black Americans. So they always have to latch on to um, a proximity to us based on our lineage and identity. So the term Hispanic don't really mean anything. It's used as a buffer term. It's a very situational term that um, people who are Hispanic can pull out when they need to get something. 
because they um, have been amalgamated into white society. They're not, they're, they're not being denied anything from white society. You know what I'm saying? They're not being denied jobs because a lot of Hispanic people just look like regular white folks. So Nick Fuentes is Hispanic. His name is Fuentes, but he's a white nationalist. A lot of these white supremacist groups have Hispanic people in them. In fact, modern white supremacy as we know it came out of Spain. I talked about that in my book, Foundational Black American Race Beta. It was Spain who were the first ones implementing these blood quantum laws where people who had Moorish blood, i.e. black blood, would be discriminated against. And they were about blood purity, meaning white. You understand? They were the ones who were the implementing white supremacy and racial identity, defining people based on color, the Negro. Before we were black, it was Negro. And then more, more was a, that was a descriptive term for a dark person, but that was coming out of Spain. So the Hispanic identity is very situational. So they pull it out when they want to get benefits and they still get the benefits of the dominant white society, just like how white people do with being Native American. You understand they claim Cherokee when there's some kind of Cherokee program so they can um, circle the block and get double benefits. So you get all the benefits of whiteness and then you can circle back and say, hey, I'm a minority too, just like those blacks. So they, yeah, they got a program. Give me some of that. So they they weaponize Hispanics against us because they understand that they have more of a camaraderie with white society, but they also understand that they can use them as buffers and come on in and circle the block and get whatever benefit we're supposed to get while they wink, wink at each other. This is why they're parading around the John Leguizamos and all of those people. There's a reason why they elevate or try to elevate Fat Joe as a hip hop ambassador, which we've rejected. You understand? There's a reason. And that was Kamala in those guys, by the way. There's a reason why. But they had him all up in the White House running around with Kamala's ass. There's a reason why. They don't do anything in a vacuum. We rejected that. The movie Microphone Check shut a lot of that stuff down. So we got to understand when people use these terms, what they mean and how they use these terms. They use these people as buffers. The Hispanic community, they have not suffered the same racism as us. In fact, not even now, when they talk about black and brown being attacked by the police, many police officers are Hispanic, especially out here. Many of these cops are Hispanic. Okay? Let's never forget that. This is why... They're trying to rewrite history. This is why we got to get this other Hidden Colors film, because now they're really trying to double down and rewrite history, talking about all the things that the Latinos built. They built America. They were the ones building the railroads. They built this and built that. No, they didn't. And they were not going through comparative discrimination. Nobody, the Hispanic community... They were never going through comparative discrimination over here. That's a bald faced lie. That's why they had to make up something called Juan Crow. There was no such thing as no damn Juan Crow. That's something that they recently made up in 2008. During the Jim Crow era, there was no damn Juan Crow at all. That's why they had to make up something now so that it would justify them getting benefits that we're supposed to get because now we're standing on reparations business family. So they're trying to circle around so they can get a foot in on that. That's what all this is about. Now that we're talking about reparations and we're serious about reparations and we ain't moving away from that and we're shutting down political parties based on our um, um, demand for reparations, the Hispanics are now going to try to circle the block on that. This is why they're trying to claim our history. This is why they're trying to find a way to say that they were there somewhere in the beginning. This is why they're making up Juan Crow. They're trying to parallel their history to ours. We're going to have to shut that all the way down. Because 
what they're trying to do is say, hey, this John Leguizamo documentary showed that we were right there building the country with the blacks. So if they get reparations, we should get some of them reparations too. You see, that's where that's going. That's where that is going. We got to shut the damn lies down early. That's all that is about. We got to shut it down. Stop all that black and brown talk. Okay. And what's interesting with the Democrats, they thought by letting in a lot of these um, immigrants over the border from Mexico, South America, and all of that, they thought, okay, we're going to bring them in to replace the black vote because we know the black folks got demands and we don't want to give them nothing, but we still need the vote. So we're going to let all of these immigrants come over here. We're going to let them flood the zone. And then we're going to make it so that you don't even need an ID to vote or you can just come in and easily get an ID with no questions asked. That's why they were running at us talking about, hey, black people, um, they're trying to stop y'all from voting by making you have voter IDs. See, they're trying to violate your rights because a lot of poor black folks, they don't have IDs. We're like, oh, no, 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 no. We got IDs. This whole ID thing is not for us. Let's stop capping. This is for these illegals you trying to run up in here. We got ID. All right, black folks, we have identification. We don't have a problem getting identification. That's for these illegals you got coming up here. So they thought they were going to bring these people up here, let them flood the zone, and have them as a voter block replacement. And then they brought their asses over here, got their IDs to vote, and then start voting for Trump. It backfired on their asses. And now they're looking dumb, dumb. All right, let me get some people in here. We got a lot of folks in the building. I'd like to talk to some of these um, K-Hivers, because the K-Hivers, they're real quiet now. The liberals are real quiet now. They ain't saying nothing. Let's get Smoothie. Oh, wait, yeah, hold on, Smoothie. Oh, hey, uh, what's going on, Rick? How you doing, Smoothie? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. How yeah, are? yeah. Oh, yes, I'm doing great, man. Great broadcast as usual. Um, and uh, I was laughing when you was talking about Dothan. I'm from Alabama too, so I'm in Mobile. So you brought up Dothan, and I was cracking up. Oh, yeah. Right, it ain't nothing there. Uh, oh, but uh, <laughs> two things. Uh, I I know you've seen uh academics. I'm not a big fan, but academics. He uh he kind of aired out all the um uh, all the influencers, quote unquote influencers who was uh, getting paid by the Democrats. He kind of went on a little, a little rant talking about how they're receiving funds and money and stuff like that. They truly don't believe what they be saying. He, he dropped a couple of names. I wanted your thoughts on that. Who are the names? Also, who are the names? Uh, well, he brought up um, like all the top influences right now. Like it's all, it's still, he still got them posted, but uh, he went on like a rant yesterday. And he was like, yeah, I received money, but I ain't want to, you know, acquiesce to the whole Kamala thing. I still ain't come out as a supporter and all these other folks, such and such, 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 name, this and that. You know what I'm saying? Just basically all the top people like the Costanats and everybody else who he said that they all received money. I and, believe you know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why they would support Kamala Harris and he had so called too much dignity and said respect to do it. Yeah, he went like a little rant, man, airing everybody out. Wow. And still posted on his profile. Okay. Uh, my second thing I, I wanted to ask you about, me and a couple of the F other FDAs, we was throwing around uh, some ideas. And wh what do you think about replacing the term reparations? Like, was like something else, you know what I'm saying? To be a little bit more discreet, like politically, like strategizing a little bit. A has anybody ever gave that a, a thought, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, maybe a, a restorative justice or something like that? Just no, to make it more political? No, no, see, see no, we got to... Um, cause see, cats want to do that. And thanks for the question because, um, it scares white people and, and you're afraid to offend white people. Black people know that when you say reparations, um, that makes the, the white people say, oh no, I don't want to give, you know, black people anything, no matter what term you use, if it's for black people it's going to be turned into a negative. So let's just understand that if that's okay. We just got to deal with that and just walk into it. Any term you use when it relates to black folks, they're going to try to flip it into a negative. You understand? Almost every term they will try to flip it into a negative. Certain things you got to, certain terms you got to use 
um, it will be almost negative proof. You gotta, you do have to word things a certain way, but I think reparations is cool. I don't want to word it into something else so that other folks can latch on to it. You got to watch out for that. I don't want to say restorative justice. Okay. So other people might be able to latch on to restorative justice. You know, what does that mean? See, reparations, you know, that's very specific and it's tied to a specific thing. And there has been reparations given to other groups. It's only a negative when it comes to us. So we have to um, play past that and not worry about the stigma. Um, there was a woman who wrote um, an article, speaking of Kamala Harris, um, she wrote for Time Magazine. She was talking about descendants of slaves. And she wrote this article for Time Magazine talking about how Kamala Harris is also a descendant of slaves. You see? She tried to see that's why that term descendants of slaves, I told people that term it's not codified enough because other people can try to weasel their way into it. And she wrote this article trying to make Kamala Harris comparative to foundational black Americans by claiming that um, some of her ancestors were enslaved in Jamaica, whoop de whoop. So therefore, she's a descendant of slaves in America. We got to watch it. That's why we use the term foundational black American. That's why that term is so powerful. It's a powerful term for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's powerful because other groups, it's hard for them to tether off of it. The Puerto Ricans are trying to find an angle to tether off of it now, but it's failing. It's hard to tether off of it because of um, each word covers each door and opening. So if you are, if you say foundational black America and an immigrant will come over from Africa and say, well, um, hey, I can be FBA too. I'm black and I'm an American, but are you foundational to this country? No, uh -uh. that disqualifies you. Yeah. Then you might have a white person who says, well, hey guy, my my great great grandmother, um, she was a slave. You know, so was would that make me FBA? No, because you're not black now. You're white. You see, that's why the term is foundational black American, past and present tense. You see? So you can't play the you can't play that role either. You can't do the I had a black grandmother. But I, I, I'm now, my family's been passing for white for the last 50 years. So no, 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 that, no, you're white now. So you're not a foundational black American now. You see, that covers that. So a lot of people can't, can't squeeze their way into the mix. Feel that natural flow. Good work. Stay fresh wherever you go Look what I like the way it feels Rude work The magic is so real